Ladies and gentlemen, baseball used to be a game where you run the bases, you play good defense, and sometimes you get lucky and hit a home run. And now it has become a game of, well, I'm upset when you swing 3-0 and and get a hit, so I'm going to hit your best player because that'll show you. We're still going to lose, but that'll show you. Okay, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, last night in the Minnesota Twins game, they were playing the Rangers. They were up 13-5, to and here comes Jake Cave up to the plate. They bring in Sean Kelly. He sucked, and he gave up three balls, no strikes, to Jake Cave. Arguably, I don't want to say our worst hitter, but, you know, who has been in the minor leagues, who's here because Buxton has been injured. Now, he has been good, right? I don't want to take that away from him. I do like Cave a lot, but and he's gotten a lot better as well, but he is arguably one of our worst guys. So, he goes up there, gets 3-0 and count, up 13-5. to and Sean Kelly, like I said, absolutely garbage last night. Threw him one right down the middle. So what does Cave do? He swings, gets a hit, 3-0. And the announcers, I mean, people in the stands, you can watch it on the video, they were flipping out. They were like, why did he do that? They're up 13-5. They've won this game already, blah, blah, blah. They were all upset that Jake Cave swung 3-0. and And I think it's stupid, but Jake Cave was like, yep, my bad. I shouldn't have done that. My gosh, are we five years old? Okay, I'm going to get into that in a second. But what proceeded to happen then was Sean Kelly, maybe unintentionally, maybe ten intentionally, gave three balls to Max Kepler. Now, again, I don't know if that was intentional or if he literally was just that bad at pitching last night that he couldn't find the strike zone whatsoever. But then on the fourth pitch, he proceeded to hit Max Kepler up by the head, the shoulder area, and Max Kepler took his base. Like, tell me. What, what, in what world did that make any sense? Here's my reasoning behind it. I think it's stupid that the Rangers are such babies and are that upset with the world or that salty that they suck that badly that they would have to get that upset and hit somebody over a 3-0 hit. Here's my thing. Like, I guess if you're just going to throw in the towel and say, you know, yep, we lost, we're down 13-5 to at this point, we're just going to quit. I say, okay, let's hit him because that does nothing for us except for give him a base if it comes around to score. Well, we've already lost anyways. But there is absolutely no reason to hit a guy. And I'll get into that in one second. But honestly, this is my opinion. I think it is the dumbest thing in the entire game of baseball. These stupid unwritten rules that go around saying, yep, you need to hit a guy when they swing 3-0 and and get a hit when you're up by X amount of runs. What? Like, okay, let's take a look at the Indians and Yankees game tonight, right? The Indians scored seven runs in the first inning. That game was over. <laughs> I mean, that game was over from the beginning. But what was the final score? 19-4. to Do you think they stopped scoring after they scored seven runs in the first? The answer is no. If you can do math, they scored 12 more runs in the rest of the game. Did they get hit? Nope. Why? Because the Yankees aren't babies. They're not going to go out there and hit the Indians because they suck tonight, right? I get that the Rangers have sucked this whole season and... You know, they've been bad for a long time, but hitting the guy does absolutely nothing. I mean, Max Kepler, what a man he was. Like I said in the game review last night, he got hit, took his base, increased his OBP, and shrugged it off. I mean, what? It didn't do it. It didn't do any harm to him. I mean, he took his base. I would have loved if Adrianza hit it a long way, uh, or even, you know, if Max Kepler came around to score in some fashion, but he took his base. He was a man, right? I mean, here's the thing. If you didn't want Cave to swing at the 3-0 pitch, you should have thrown him a fastball earlier in the count, or you could have walked him, or you could have hit Cave. There's so many other ways you could have gotten around it instead of giving Cave a 3-0 fastball down the pipe, all right? Because, like, here's the thing. There's a ton of ways to avoid the 3-0 situation. One, you just don't suck as a team, all right? Like I said, the Rangers are bad. 
They are 500 team, but really they've been playing a lot worse than that. They're 12 and 19 since the All-Star break, okay? They're bad. How you avoid being in this situation? You don't suck in the first place. Mm-hmm. You don't suck. You win games. You don't have to be a baby, okay? So, I mean, the math is pretty simple there. Like I've told you many times, I'm not that good at math, but, like, not sucking equals wins equals let's not be babies and throw at people because that doesn't do anything. Next tip. Next tip. If you do suck, like, sucking's inevitable for the Rangers, but here's the thing. Like I said just moments ago, don't throw a 3-0 fastball. You had strike one to get. You had strike two to get on the first couple of pitches. Even if you threw, you know, ball one, ball two, then you throw a strike in there. There are so many other ways you could have avoided throwing him a three and O oh count. Just a, just say, just a suggestion, you know. Okay, third option. You walk him. Okay, you sucked already that badly. What is Cave supposed to do? Is he supposed to? Like, give up and die? Is he supposed to just step out of the box and say, Okay, yep, we're done. I struck out. Is that it? Okay, I'll stand here for a while. No. He's going to be a hitter. That is his job as a MLB player. He is in a struggle. Or he has been... He, he's been struggling as of late. Why wouldn't he try to increase his stats? It's not like it's 14 to nothing. It was 8 to 5. The game was still in reach. I mean, in reach quotation marks, but... They scored one in the ninth. They scored a couple in the sixth. They scored a couple in the fifth. The game wasn't over by any means. And again, what is Cave supposed to do? It, like I said, is he supposed to just walk out of the batter's box and just say, yep, I, I, guys, I'm done. I quit. <laughs> no. If you give him a fastball, he's going to hit it. Right? I mean, am I, am I dumb to think that? I mean, is that out of the question? Okay, let's move on to another thing. Madison Baumgarten. He's a big baby. He... Threw a fastball down the middle to Max Muncy and then got upset with him. Why? He threw him a fastball down the middle. I don't like the Dodgers. I know that you guys know that. So he said, go get it out of the lake if you don't want me to hit it that far. Makes sense to me. <laughs> throw around him. He threw it down the middle. What is he supposed to do? And he could have avoided the situation, as I said. So what have we learned so far in this video? Besides, the Rangers are a bunch of babies, and Sean Kelly is just a sack of garbage, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Was, was it was it his call? Do we know any other information on if it was his call or not? Um, I, don't, I don't know. It doesn't matter. The point is, it didn't do anything but help the Twins. Now, where I'm going to move from this is, there were so many people on Twitter saying, Yep, ninth inning, they're going to get one too. They're going to get a fastball right at the head, and... Blah, blah, blah. Because what does that do? <laughs> that literally does the same thing. It puts a man on base for the Rangers. Now, maybe this is where we differ. Maybe you have the same opinion as me. Moving forward, I hope, I pray that the Twins do not hit the Rangers for any reason. Even if we're losing 12 to 0, 13 to 5, 25 to 1. I don't care. The point is... Hitting the guys don't matter. It's not going to hurt them. Every single one of these major leaguers have been hit by a 95-mile-an-hour fastball before. Now, maybe not at the head, but that's just dumb. Because what happens, you get ejected, you get suspended, you get fined, the team gets upset. There's just a bunch of ways around that. Here's some suggestions. Strike the guy out. Like what Sean Kelly could have done instead of throwing a fastball down the middle, if he actually wanted to play the game instead of be a baby, he could have painted the corners. He's a major league pitcher. He could have thrown a better pitch. Number two, he, just like everybody else, could have done better in the at-bat before. Or I think that's not really relevant. But the point is, you could have not put yourself in this situation as a team. Okay, I mentioned that. The third thing that they could do, the Twins, is shut them out. I mean, for the next three or four games, go sweep them. Go get every single guy out. Show them that you're a better team than them by beating them instead of beating them. Right? I mean, again, maybe we're under different impressions there. Maybe you think that beating them is a great thing. Tell me why. I don't get it. Because to me, striking a guy out, 
making him look stupid on a curveball, I don't know, is a lot more satisfying than, oh, I'm going to throw a 95-mile-an-hour fastball at your shoulder that you're just going to turn to. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But that makes a lot more sense to me. I will strike you out and just, boom, fire off the mound like Sergio Romo does instead of th take your base, get upset with me. Let's throw our helmets like Bryce Harper does and then miss. I don't know. That's the point is that I think this unwritten rule of being dumb and <laughs> beating the next guy because you get upset and you're a baby is dumb. I think it's dumb. Be a man. One, show him that you're better than him by striking him out or getting him out or beating the team X, Y, Z. Or just be a baby like you do and I guess you'll never grow from it. Because like I said, Max Kepler, he took the fastball, he walked down to first base, shrugged it off and said, you know what, I'll take the free base. I loved it. Max Kepler's a man. I think that's as much of a point as I can make. But that's the video. I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what you get out of retaliation if you do think that's okay. I want to know what you think of beaning guys because I think it's stupid. I think, you know, get the get them out is a lot better um, and show some emotion that way. That's just my opinion. I want to know what you guys think about the whole situation. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Again, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe. You can do that right down here. Also, check out the videos above my head yesterday's game review, as well as a perfect game video that I posted yesterday. It was really cool as well. Go check those out. Thanks so much for watching. And we will see you tonight after the game review. Peace out, guys.